give up a praise to him.
again, it's Matthew, the 13th chapter, beginning with the 24th verse. Everyone got it? Amen? Amen. Still looking, say, wait a moment. We'll be reading from the King James Version. Another parable put he forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man which soweth good seed in his field. For while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. But when the blade was sprung up and brought forth fruit, then appeared the tares also. So the servants of the household householder came and said unto him, Sir, didst not thou sow good seed in thy field? From whence then have it tares? He said unto him, An enemy have done this. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. The servant said unto him, Wilt thou then that we go and gather them up? But he said, Nay, uh -huh. lest while ye gather up the tares, ye root up also the wheat with them. Yeah. Uh -huh. Let both grow together <clears throat> unto the harvest. Right. And in the time of the harvest, I will say to the reaper, mm -hmm. Gather ye together first the tares. Yes, and bind them in bundles and burn them. Mm -hmm. But gather but gather the wheat until my barn. Uh -huh. God word for the saints of God. Amen. God word is all ready this. I wanna use for a thought this morning. Let God divide. church, we can get ourselves in a world of trouble That's right. when we start trying to play God yeah. and insert ourselves in situations where we should get out of the way and let God happen. Yeah. We can get ourselves in a world of trouble when we think we got so saved and so righteous that we can stand in the judge's seat and separate God's people. Yeah. After all, the Bible says, all have sinned That's right. and come short of the glory of God. Amen. So Reverend Tanner ain't got the right to come in and say, I want the saved folks to sit on this side. Right. I want the unsaved folks to sit on that side. I want the people that dress like they at church to sit on this side. I want the people that dress like they from the street in that side. We can get ourselves in the world of trouble when we get, like we say, when we get holier than that. Looking at the tragedies of people's lives in the shortcomings of people's life and start saying, well, you wouldn't be in that situation if <laughs> you wouldn't live it this way. If you wouldn't live it that way. Um, when all the time while we're talking, we do doing things we ain't got no business. It's easy to get up here and point out somebody else's fault. That's it. That's it. But we get highly upset when you start pointing out my fault. That's it. Yeah. Go ahead. Try yeah. to help somebody today. Yeah. It is easy for me to say, well, if you want to have to lie, the way you lie, you want to be in the situation you need now. When all the time the woman I'm with ain't even my wife. Watch it, Watch it. God is the only person, is the only being that has the power to separate the righteous. From the unrighteous. Yeah. 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 And I don't 
care how long you've been a deacon. I don't care how long you've been a preacher. <laughs> You're not God. My Bible say we're all in our best are as filthy rags. Yeah. Huh? So when people start judging you, when people start blaming you for this and that because of the way you live it, you have the right to say, sit your dusty self down. <laughs>
in the tab grow together. God said, we can't, I can't look at you and tell your sin. But God knows. He knows. So that's why if you're in church and someone is smelling like they shouldn't be smelling, smelling like weed, smelling like alcohol, shut your mouth. You don't like how they smell, who? Huh? Shut your mouth. They in the right place. So that may be the day they hear what they need to hear to stop doing what they do. So if we start running everybody off because of how we think they are, you know what happened? Some of the good members will get offended. They'll get mad. They'll stop coming. So that's why God said, let them, let them go. Let them grow together. You go to Walmart, you don't know what these folks do. You go to work every day, you don't know what they do. You don't know who they are, you don't know what they really are. We sit at the ball game, jam packed. You go to a college game, 80,000 folks around. You don't know what they are, but you're still sitting right there. That's right. See, our job is to make sure that we right. That's right. That's right. That's right. And we will be more worried about our souls getting to heaven. Yeah. Right. More focused and concentrated on our souls yeah. getting to heaven. Mm -hmm. And let God do the separating. Mm -hmm. Then everything will be all right. Yeah. Yeah. Then we can have church a little more better. Mm -hmm. When we walk through those doors, we should come through those doors and look for a blessing. <laughs> but you ever been in church and felt so good about yourself? Felt so good about what you're doing and what you're trying to do? Mm -hmm. Then one person can say the wrong thing. Yeah. Yeah. Right. 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 And set your spirit in a way. Yeah. Well, you want to just stop coming. Mm -hmm. If you give it, you want to stop getting it. Uh -huh. but, but God is not pleased with this. So we have to be careful. In God's house. Yeah. Right. Of the things we say. Mm -hmm. Of the things that we do. Yes. All right. We got to be careful. In God's house of the people that we hang around. Mm -hmm. Of the conversations that we entertain. Because yes. it'll get your soul in jeopardy. Yes. Jesus says in verse 27. The man's servants came to him. They said to him, Master, you sow good seeds in your field. Mm -hmm. So, 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 where did the weeds come from? So, in other words, you the one in your garden, planting a garden full of corn, or what you thought was what you knew was corn. Then, when the, the good Lord allowed it to grow. You seeing all this wild weed come up. Uh -huh. And you know what you planted. Uh -huh. So no wonder why the servant had questions. Master, didn't you plant good seed? Yeah. So why do we have weeds? And the master, the man said, that enemy does this. All right. mm -hmm. The servant asked him, do you want us to gather the weeds. The man replied to him, no. We know I don't want you to gather the weeds because if you gather all the Johnson grass up, because they look the same, you might also pull my weed up. Huh? So the man tells him what we're going to do. We're going to wait until they grow a little more. Huh? When they grow a little more and the fruit start producing, see when the weed comes, you can see the grain. No, uh, Johnson grass ain't got no grain. So when the grain tall, then the time to separate. Now you can distinguish one from another. Yeah. See these verses when Jesus said, I like how Jesus told the crowd and talked to the multitude here. In verse twenty nine, when he said, "But they, last while you gather up the tares, you are the wheat." Verse thirty says, "Let both grow together until the harvest." Right. And in time of the harvest, 
I will say to the readers. Yes, sir. Gather ye together first the tares and bind them and bundles and burn them, but gather the wheat unto my barn. The research of this says the weeds in this scripture were probably a, a plant called dawn. These plants can carry a poison that is dangerous to people. It says darnel is similar to wheat. You see the difference is clearly when the wheat produces grain. Darnel has a strong root than wheat does. The roots of both plants will grow together. If you pull out the darnel, its roots will disturb the roots of the wheat. If you allow darnel seeds to remain with the wheat in, in, in store, the poison will also ruin it. So, what we have to remember to keep from uprooting the saved folks, to keep from uprooting, uprooting the righteous, we have to leave them alone. Let them come on to church. Let them go on that love the club. Let them come on in. Let them want to love the drink. Let them come on in. They in the right place. We will get so disturbed huh, when we see somebody from the neighborhood that we, we know what they do. But we get so disturbed that they come to church. Not let alone to disturb because they're at church. Don't let them sit by you. <laughs> Don't let them sit by you, dog. That's a problem now. You can see folks just <laughs> huh? <laughs> See, folks, God, I can't believe she a tree. Let me take this snap. <laughs> I ain't having nobody. <laughs> But when Jesus talked, <clears throat> what was for the people to hear was for, for the people to hear. Right. What was for the disciples to understand was for the disciples to understand. Right. What I mean is, when he taught this parable, of course, the disciples had questions. Right. But they didn't understand. It. So you have to go on down to Verse 36, yes, sir. where Jesus started to explain what he meant. That's right. Come on. Come on. Yeah. That's right. Then Jesus sent the crowd away. All right. If you still got your Bibles over, go down to verse 36. Oh, yeah. Said then Jesus sent the crowd away. And he went into the house. See, what's for you? Ain't for, it's for you. It ain't for everybody to know. That's right. Uh, That's right. Sometimes you got to separate yourself from That's people. Right. And have a little talk with Jesus. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And he'll make things plain. That's right. That's right. Said his disciples came to him. And they said, explain to us the story about the weeds in the field. Jesus answered, the man that sowed the good seed, that man is the son of man. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He said, the field means the world. The good seed means the children who belong to the kingdom. The weeds mean the evil one's children. The enemy who sowed the weed means the devil. Don't you know the devil will insert people into your life? They will show themselves friendly. They will get very close to you. Until you start telling them all of your business. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And once you feed them that information, now they got some hot gossip yeah. uh -huh. to go tell everybody that'll listen. Uh -huh. You have to be careful of the company you keep. Uh -huh. You have to be careful of the places you go. Yes. The enemy who sold the weeds is the devil. The harvest means the end of the world. Yes, sir. The workers who gather the harvest mean the angels. Mm. This is why we must let God divide. Yeah. So 
why are we so busy trying to see who's who? That's right. Yeah. Huh? God knows exactly who each and every person in this meeting yeah. is. Yeah. He knows exactly what their where their spirits are. He knows exactly right. whether they fall in the category of weak right. or right. chair. Yeah. Huh? That's it. That's and when time comes to do the separate, uh -huh. it says in the word plain that he is going to sing that's right. his angels that's right. to do the separate. Right. So stop worrying yourself about what other people have done or are doing. No, right. it's our job to keep the course, keep the faith. Yeah. And it's also our job most of the time, I'm going to say it, I know you don't want to hear, but to mind your business. Right. 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 Let me say it again for the people in the back. To mind your business. your business. Some of us got enough on our plate to be having to worry about other folks' business. But we'll worry ourselves sick. Let somebody be quiet right now lean over and whisper to somebody. Everybody else is going to want to know what the word they say. Y'all want to tell the truth? We can't stand knocking though. Huh? Whatever they whisper, it's just not your business. They want you to hear it and say it live. <laughs> Worry about yourself sick over something you can't control. Let God have it. That's it. Huh? That's it. <laughs> the Son of Man will send out his angels. They will come in. Out, out of his kingdom, all that causes sin. That's right. That's right. One day there's going to be a great reunion. Right. Uh, oh, yeah. One day there's going to be a meeting yeah. uh, yeah. around the throne of God. Yeah. Uh, right. Right. And I don't know about you, but I want to be at that meeting. Yeah. Uh, yeah. When all God's saints come home. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The songwriter said, after the separation. Yes, uh, right. Of the right from the wrong. He said, I want to be at that meeting yes, sir. around the throne. Yeah. If you know you want to be at that meeting, raise your hand. Uh, if you know you want to be at that meeting, say, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And if you want to be at that meeting, let God divide. Because what happens when we start dabbling in business that ain't ours, that mess is pull you right in with it. The next thing you know, there you go. Huh? Your guards have fell down. The armor that you once had is gone. Now here you go, spreading rumors. Here you go, spreading the hot gossip. Huh? Here you go. So what we got to do is mind our business sometimes. The angels will throw them into the place of fire. How many of y'all know hell is real? The people will weep aloud and they will bite their teeth together. The Bible says they'll be gnashing of the teeth. Huh? Then the good people will shine like the sun on their father's kingdom. I want to be at the meeting. Huh? And then Jesus says, if you can hear these things uh -huh. with your ears, mm -hmm. listen. Right. That's our problem. We don't want to listen. Right. We're so worried about when the preacher going to sit down that we forget the message. Right. Huh? Yes, we come here to get a message. Now, I don't know about you now, but I'm not going to get out of the comfort of my bed. Oh. Huh? Put on my slide this bed. To come in here to rush out that door. Right. No. Right. If I'm going to take time to do all that, I'm going to hear something. Right. Right. Then you better play the piano and they're start singing. Right. Right. I didn't come here just to look pretty. Right. Right. I come here to hear something. Right. I come here because I need it. Yeah. I need a word. Yeah. That's the only way we're going to grow and get fed. Yeah. We want to hear the word. Once we learn, y'all, it's a learning process. Everybody in here ain't on me. There's still some people on milk. 
But just because you know you are on me, and I think somebody else is on milk, don't mean I have the right to talk about it. I have the right to push them aside, to be little. God's not pleased with that. We say we want to be at the meeting. Huh? We say we want to be in God's kingdom. So all we have to do is make sure we fall on the right side of the thing. That's right. And how do we make sure that we fall on the right side of the thing? We study the word of God. Uh -huh. huh? And we don't only study the word of God. We walk it, we talk it, we live it. The word of God. Everywhere that we go. The word of God should be something that we can put in a glass case. Right. Saying break in case of an emergency. The word of God is something that we got to have when we're at home. Right. We got to live it when we're at work. Yeah. We got to live it when we're at Walmart. Yeah. Sometimes a child of God finds itself at a party somewhere. Right. And if we, even if we're at that party, we still got to act like we know who we are. Yeah. We still got to be the light amongst the darkness. Yeah. Everywhere that we go. It's a 24-7 job, y'all. Yeah. Huh? We don't get a vacation for being a Christian. Huh? Right. But sometimes a lot of us want to, don't make me put my religion down. <laughs> Mess around and put it down and the devil gets you out there and can't pick it back up. Right. Huh? Because that's what that devil will do. He'll get you out there. Yeah. And once he gets you out there, he'll shut the door behind you. Huh? Or he'll cut that limb out from under you and you're stuck. So what we got to do, we got to praise the one true living God. Yes. Oh, these people have a blessing right here to be taught by the one true living God. Don't you know one day he's going to come back? Yes. One day he's coming back for us. Yes. Oh, and one day he's going to send his angels down. And when he send them down, he's going to do the separation. Yes. Don't you know God will divide? Oh, yes. When you don't leave, he'll divide. Ask Gideon what he divide. Oh, See, when Gideon started off, he started off with thousands of people. To go defeat the men and not be tonight. But God said, no, that's too many. Oh, and when he finally broke it down, he broke it down to 300 people. Uh, Won't God divide? Yes, and God yes, took yes, those 300 oh, people yeah. and defeated an army that the Bible oh, said was yeah. so many of them you couldn't even count. Oh, yeah. But God took them. And, 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 and defeated the Midianites. Why did he break it down to a number so small? Because if the thousands had defeated, they'd have puffed up their chest. Yeah. You know what we like to do when we think we have done something big? We like to puff up our chest. Look like a prize rooster. Look at what I did. Y'all already know nothing I did. Look at what we did. We have been high-fiving. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, we did. But when God broke it down to 300, you couldn't do nothing but look around and see it was nothing. But the Lord. Oh, yeah. What I'm telling you today is, let God fight your battle. Yes. Oh. When the enemy come in and do your wrong, don't fight wrong with wrong. Oh. Pray for them. And move on by your business. Before you get your soul in jeopardy. Because you best believe one of these days, when this life is over, Jesus is coming. The Bible says he's coming about Tuesday night. So what we got to do is we got to be ready. Yes. If you're not ready, then you're going to fall into the sides of the table. Yes. And the word just told you if you are terror, then you will be gathered together and burn. Yes. Burn hell is real. Right. We got to get this thing together. We got to start loving one another. Yes. We got to start encouraging one another. Yes. And when one stumble and fall, we got to reach down and help yes. get that brother yes. or sister up. We say we prospect church family, but I got to admit sometimes right here I don't feel like I'm part of the family. So we got to get together, y'all. We got to do better. Every day we got to do better. Everybody got a voice in here. We got to be open minded. We ain't got it all figured out. If we had it all figured out, we wouldn't need a pastor. Oh, we ain't got it all together. We ain't got it all together, y'all. But we should be striving for perfection each and every day. Let God divide. Let God separate. Because one day, when this life is over, 
we got to get to see the man. Uh, the man that walked on water. We're going to get to see the man that gave sight to the blind. We're going to get to see King Jesus. Face to face, y'all. Won't it be a great reunion? Won't it be a great reunion? Yeah, I'd be glad to see my friends and my loved ones that have passed and gone on. But I first want to see King Jesus. The one who was hung, bled, and died on the cross for me. Uh, he did it for me. Even though I wasn't, didn't deserve it, he still did it for me. And I'm so glad that he did. I'm so glad that he was buried. Huh? Stayed in the grave three long days. And I'm so glad that the story didn't stop there because he got up with all power in his hand. And one of these days, we're going to be in a sweet bye bye. We're going to fly away somewhere. And we're going to be at rest. Huh? I'm so glad that when I get to heaven, I got a big old 5X robe waiting on me. <laughs> Thank the Lord now that, that, that he's able me to slim down so I'm looking at this here. <laughs>
Let's go.